Hello and welcome back to day two of the MLG Pro League. I'm Benson joined by the wonderful Mr. X, aka UMG underscore Matt. He's on Man. Skypes. He's on Skype Roonies. Looking fabulous and whatnot. Uh, we have FaZe versus Team Envious is our first game that we're going to be broadcasting this evening to you guys. And uh, sorry about the delay. Of course, Santa timing out halfway through. Now, the situation as it stands is Envy are going to do a full restart, but we have to imagine they have a 30-point lead. I'm sure Ron, our producer, is going to do some crazy little graphics at the top of the screen. It's going to be like plus 30, so we yeah. don't forget. Um, so if Envy hit 220, it's over. Oh. Shout out Go. to Merc for letting me know as well. Merc, you the real MVP, my friend. You yeah, I was trying to follow in the chat of what was going to go on, but it's impossible. It's craziness. It's, it's, it's craziness. <sighs> and he's back. Yeah, my timing today has been bueno, perfect, amazing. Yeah. So the game getting underway. For any of you that are just tuning in now, Hardpoint Retreat is going to be the game mode. I'm excited, Matt. I'm really yeah, excited. Yeah, it's, it, it's odd, though, that we're doing a full restart when, you know, now, it, well, it's a full restart, but Envy With only needs to get 30. Uh, bit weird, but... But now you're going to go back to the middle hill. So it's going to change up everything again. So you got to wonder, you know, uh, FaZe can come out a little bit stronger than they did the last time and able to, you know, keep that spawn and get that second hill. So that's kind of what I'm going to be looking for in this uh, start. The big thing I want to watch is Cloyster running the Emeli off the break. We'll dive straight into the action now. Four seconds until the game gets underway. Of course, Envy with a plus 30 lead and Cloyster using the Emeli. Do you reckon this is a legit thing? Can he make this work? Uh, I I don't know. I, I, I think it's a stretch, to be honest. I mean, it has a ton of bullets. And, you know, the recoil isn't too bad, obviously, when you're on with him. The sound is very loud. But the recoil doesn't look too bad when you're on with him. I, I just think it makes him too stationary of a player, I think. Yeah, it's kind of like the Black Ops 2 kind of anchor, if you will. And in a game yeah. which is, like, so fast, I feel you need the movement. But you see him challenge, picks up one. He's going to be on that hard point. And there's going to be three players pushing from that left-hand side. Not going to be able to pick up anything. What's he actually using? I'm going to wait uh, for him to come off respawn. What's he got? Where are his attachments on it? Stock, quick draw, and... Grip. Grip. Okay. Yeah. But I, I think it's I think it's trying to play this game too much like Black Ops 2. I think, you know... Uh, it was an issue, I think, at the beginning of Ghost 2 with Blitz, so to speak, right? Where... So you know, everyone is like, oh, you know, you just play Blitz like you do CTF. But that's not how you play the game. It's right. a brand new game. Obviously, so many things change in this Call of Duty. It's completely different than any other Call of Duty no, ever with the exo movements and abilities. I think you kind of have to play it as its own game. Uh, I think the easiest way to rotate in this game, Ben, is to you know do it as a team and just push all four to that and just flood it. But you know, uh, Envy's going to keep trying to do this kind of one-man anchor job. But, uh, you know, you got to see if it works. They're losing yep. this lead, kind of like I was saying. Yeah. You pretty much called it. Sensor is on this hard point doing so much work. Killed Nameless and Cloyster. And, you know, talking about that rotation and hard point, it's something that we noticed, especially with Optic Gaming, they don't really rotate to hills. They just push it as four and just break the hill and, and just make it look easy. And teams that have that slaying power really can utilize it. And I feel like FaZe is another team that can really do that. They don't have that sort of set role of, oh, let's rotate 20 seconds soon and just set up on the hill and make sure we have a good setup. It's kind of like, well... We're just going to run to the hill and just kill you all. Right, yeah. I think that's definitely, uh, you know, that we see Optic Gaming, like you are saying, they use that strategy pretty much primarily, you know, they'll go to the hill and just yeah. kill them all out, which, to be honest, I think that's probably the best way. You can flood spawns in this game. It's not like Black Ops 2 or one person, you know, like, like a Klaser or a Goonjar can be an anchor. Controls are, the spawns are controlled by, you know, who has the majority of the players there. Right? It wasn't, one, you know, one person looking at a spawn can block it, so... To, you know, rotate as a team the way Optic Gaming does, I think is probably the best way to do it. Yep, or at least the best way as of now in the current version of the game. Of course, we are having consistent patches from our friends over at Sledgehammer Games. Right now, the score 70 to 54. Don't forget, Envious with a plus 30 advantage from when that last game was ended as JCap hits him with a slam. Actually, managed to finish off with a headshot. It's going to be Merc and Nameless on the hard point now. Bringing up Envy some time. 13 seconds left. Phase has spawned out. That is going to be completely Envy scrap time. And now the rotation is going to come in. And I'm looking at Nameless right now to try and make some plays. He's on a three streak. Make that a four streak. Really heating up. And this is what Envy needs. Is his accuracy is just godlike right now. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what Envy needed. But you notice Clacer and Nameless playing a bit better, you know, in this restart after, you know, Sensor lagged out. But... Yeah, Merc at 4 and 11. You know, he was top of the leaderboard before yeah. that restart. And, you know, he's the player they're going to need to win those gun battles on the hill, Ben. You know, 
it's great to win gun battles on rotation. It's great to you know, you know, win fights mid map. But you know, the fights that you know win your team games are the ones on hills. And right now, you know, you see Center ten and nine for Phase and Merc six and twelve for Envy. I think really that's the game. Yep, that really does kind of explain the the score difference. But to be fair, Envy just consistently flooding the hill, putting so much pressure on Phase and Merc, jumping back on with twenty seconds, has his ASM one and a bow. Pulls out the ASM1, peeks up. That's going to be the assist for him, not getting any look whatsoever. But Clayster and Jcap both really stepping things up since the restart. You've got Jcap who's on the hill right now, 18 and 11. Clay, 17 and 13. Is that half point about to rotate in the last couple of seconds? Envy with the lead overall. Yeah, and you see Jcap in a great position to pick up some kills. He's actually going to rotate all the way over to the back. And this is the spawn you want. And he was actually taken out right there by Ake. So that's actually a huge kill right there. Four phases, they're going to be able to try and flood this from poolside, but see the Envy players just flooding it as well. So, uh, very interesting setup, but phase able to get control of that hill. Sensor lying on the hill right now, taking his time. Teammates go down, so he's going to have to challenge to win some gunfights here. There's one. Can't find the second place that with that amount, he's still trying to make stuff happen around the outside. Not working out for him. Nameless, 13 to 16. Bottom of the team, but picking up some pretty important kills when he needs to. There are going to be players up top. One is Apathy, and Nameless just not able to get it working for him right now. Slasher, meanwhile, for FaZe. We haven't really seen much of him, but that's a nice two-piece he gets. And the secure on the hard point, 22 and 15. He was my MVP from Columbus. And honestly, the guy is just a beast at this game. Oh, the guy is the monster at this game. Obviously, coming out of you know, the end of Ghost with him placing second with Noble, I mean... You weren't sure if he was going to be able to carry that kind of play into Advanced Warfare. You know, really didn't see much of him on Black Ops 2. But, you know, in Advanced Warfare, he's been he's been an amazing Ben. You know, at, uh, at Columbus Open, he was, you know, one of the most uh, dominant players there, I would say. You know, just yep. consistently tearing it up. I mean, in every game, game mode, too, right? Right, every game mode. I mean, he was great in search as well. And I think, uh, you know, during that finals without the gaming, he was a huge reason as why they won. Yeah, massive plays were made by him. But back in this game, 133 to 79. Envious trailing. Of course, they do have plus 30, as you see on your screen. So make sure you're adding that on for the overall score just due to a restart after Sensor timed out when Envy had the early lead in the first game. Of course, this is restarted on board with Nameless, and he does go down. Sensor on the hard point once again, seven seconds. It's going to be scrap time, but the spawns for Envy split. You see there, that on your mini map, they have two players on either side of the map. That is not good for them at all. However, Sensor does get shut down from behind, and now it's going to be down to Aix to just momentarily try and defend this hill by himself. Yeah, he's just going to need to try and stay alive in that hill, but you saw he is actually taken out. It looks like Envy is going to get control of that for a split second, but the hill is just being contested by both teams right now. Ben, what I think really, you know, kind of separating these teams is that first rotation of hills. You know, that first uh, game that we saw after before Doug lagged out, you know, Envy was able to flip spawns, and they were able to control that turtle statue hill yep. for most of the time. And now in the second restart, Faye is able to get it for pretty much both times that it has come up. And I think that's what's really separated these two teams. Yep, that's the massive difference. And you see Faye's kind of running away with this game now. A 171 to 93 point lead going into the last three minutes. Of course, don't count Envy out just yet. Still plenty of time. And add on that 30 point lead that they do carry through into this one is Apathy. They're trying to jump on that hill. Shuts down one, shuts down two. This could be just a single man breaking the hill. But the spawns, this is going to be the key thing to note. Look at where Envy are. Three men, bottom right of your mini map. There's only one player alive. That was, I believe, Jcap, and he's gone down too. So FaZe looking in a great position to rack up a lot of time on this hill map. Oh, yeah. FaZe can just, you know. Rally off a few kills right here. Keep spawning Envy out. They're going to be in good shape. But you see Clay and Merc able to break that hill. That was a huge break right there. Able to save their game. Actually keep their game alive. You know, if FaZe yep. was able to hold that, it pretty much would have been a done deal. <clears throat> and again, whilst they were breaking that, they got the spawns that they needed to over at that back cave. So a little bit of luck on their side, it seems. Clay's to 29 and 25. Still rocking that Amelie. Doesn't want to change his class out whatsoever. He's not going to win him a gunfight there, though. That's unfortunate for him. Nameless left on the hill to try and stay alive. Trying to strafe left and right. Merc's down. Jcap still contesting. Trying to pick up the kill. Does connect with it. Sensor's going to be on the hill as well. Jcap desperately trying to pick up the kill. And Sensor with a double jump. Strafe to the right. Just destroyed his heart and soul. Nice play coming out from Doug Sensor Martin. Yeah, and I mean, you know, those would be the two biggest keys. Obviously, we just talked about, you know, the rotation at Turtle Statue Hill, and 
uh, Doug right now, 22 and 21. Only positive one, but seven captures to his name. And then you look on the other side, no Merc, a lot of captures, but not able to pick up those kills in the hill. And that's what, you know, really separating the teams. Obviously, you know, the other Slayers pretty much all doing their thing. Except that, you know, really, the Nameless struggling a little bit as well. But other than that, you know, Slayers all pretty much even. It's going to come down to those OBJ players. Slash it. Picks up one, trying to find more kills. Last minute 20, and FaZe looking at putting this out of contestion. 222 to one, th what is that, 148 now? Is Envy actually yeah. on that hill, desperately trying to get as much time as they possibly can. 15 seconds before that hill does rotate. Looking at that scoreboard though, it's a huge game from Slasher, 33 and 29. Aches as well, 32 and 30. Athlete not too far behind, 29 and 30. And just so many gunfights being won by the phase guys on the hills. And that's the difference. I want to actually have a look at the defend column. Aches, seven defends. Sensor, four defends. Apathy, four defends as well. Slasher has one. Over on the other side, different story. Clay with three defends, and, and he's using a melee. So that really does set the tone for that enemy team. Jcap with two. Nameless, zero. And Merc, two as well. Yeah, and you know, uh, Clay playing very well with that melee. You know, 36 and 33. But... You no, know, if you're not paced the same way with your team, and you know they're just gonna it's gonna throw everything out of sync a little bit. So obviously the stats are better, but you gotta wonder if you know the slower pace is helping or hurting the team. Yep, gotta agree. Last 13 seconds is all over. Phase take map number one. Both myself, Matt, and Pucket have Phase picking up this one. And so far, it's looking that way with FaZe with a fantastic start. They were 30 points down going into that first map restart, and they still managed to pick up the win. Looking very dominant there, Matt, not going to lie. Oh, yeah. I mean, in that second restart, obviously, with the full team getting it going again, they looked extremely dominant right there. I mean, you saw signs from Envy where they were starting to come back a little bit, but the cap uh, with a very good game from Envy, but you know, just not enough at the end. Well, that concludes map number one. Guys, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. When we return, we'll be back with Search and Destroy.